Hi ho, Tudor minded people. It's Philadelphia Carrie for Tudor Time Machine. The expression I share with you this week is motley minded. When I hear this expression, I cannot help but remember the first time I came to court when I was just a little thing. It was in the early days of my good mistress Elizabeth's reign. I would, I could relate, that it was her fine majesty herself that impressed the young me, but I am an honest soul. No, what delighted me most was a motley-minded pair, Jane Fool and Lucretia the Tumbler. They performed for the assembled company. Oh, how much I laughed at their mad antics. Jane Fool had a manner of speaking that made me burst with hysterics, and Lucretia would turn cartwheels and flip and walk upon her hands and juggle and jig to the roar of all who watched. I know to be wise is well, but I do so love motley-minded fun. Motley-minded? Oh, now, Tudor Files, what think you? If you're new here, I'm Gage. I'm Jessica. And we're here with Philadelphia Carey for Tudor Word of the Week. Don't miss a word and listen to the Tudor Time Machine Story Project. So diverting. Subscribe on YouTube and give me a like. Tudor Files, thank you for listening. Every one of you has the wit of Rosalind and the heart of Cordelia. And thank you for writing to Philadelphia on YouTube and suggesting words. We love your suggestions, so keep them coming. So our expression this week, motley-minded, means foolish. Now we think of motley as meaning sort of disparate, assorted, varied, incongruous. And usually there's a slightly negative connotation referring to a group of people who don't add up to much. A ragtag group is a motley group. Well, we use motley-minded to mean foolish, but we also use the word motley to mean the costume of a jester. Because jesters wear clothes that are of many strange colours, and their clothes are patched. We call it motley wear. Right, so the expression motley-minded comes from the idea that people who wear motley clothing are foolish. That is so. Well, most court jesters were male. I immediately think of Will Summers, who was King Henry VIII's fool, and he was apparently very popular at Henry's court. But Philadelphia spoke of two motley-minded women, Jane Fool and Lucretia the Tumbler. Yes, Philadelphia. So who were these two funny ladies? My dear Gage, they were not funny ladies. How can you imagine such a thing? They were known at court indeed, but they were mere entertainers of low status. To call them ladies is an outrage to those of us of that lofty rank. Well, now we use the expression funny lady as a compliment. There was even a movie called Funny Lady, which starred one of the most famous female actors, the great Barbara Streisand. Funny Lady? Female actors? Ha! Huh, what a strange world you dwell in. But hey-ho, the two low-born women I speak of were employed to entertain the court with antics and tumbling. They served for years, pleasing the likes of Queen Catherine Parr, Queen Mary I, and my own gracious Elizabeth. They were often dressed in the same clothing and made such a diverting pair. That's so interesting. I really didn't know there were female jesters or even acrobats. It's thought that Lucretia the Tumbler originally came to England with one of the Italian acrobatic troops that were so popular at this time. And there's a very famous portrait of Henry VIII and his children and it was done to be hung at Whitehall. They're not sure exactly when it was done, but it includes Henry VIII, Edward, Jane Seymour, Mary, and Elizabeth. And in the background, there are two figures. And historians think that one of them is Will Summers, the king's fool. He's depicted on the right. And on the left is a female figure who historians think is Jane Fool herself. And I think that's just wild. It's crazy that they were important enough to make it into the family portrait. I know. Of all the people who were around this family, these are the two people they chose to be on either side of them. It's, it's really interesting. I mean, I guess everyone loves a comedian. Our Tudor word this week comes from a play by Shakespeare that features two of our most well-beloved jesters, Touchstone and Jacques. And the play is As You Like It. Oh, yes, we have spoken about this work before. It all takes place in a forest, 
and the noble Rosalind and the noble Cecilia dress as woodland people in grubby clothing, and they mooch about, and it's all quite silly. I love this play. And the characters of Jacquees, who uses our Tudor word of the week, is very witty. Give us a quote, Philadelphia. Jacquees introduces his fellow jester Touchstone to the Duke. Jacquees says, Good my lord, bid him welcome. This is the motley-minded gentleman that I have so often met in the forest. He hath been a courtier, he swears. And then Touchstone replies, If any man doubt that, let him put me to my purgation. I have trod a measure, I have flattered a lady, I have been politic with my friend, smooth with mine enemy, I have undone three tailors, I have had four quarrels, and like to have fought one. Jacquees likes this word motley. He uses it throughout the play. I think he uses it at least eight other times. Whenever I hear the word motley, I instantly think of Motley Crew, The heavy metal band. What is this motley crew? Are they jesters? Not exactly. They're kind of musicians. Ah, like Jacquees and Touchstone. They sing sweet and comical songs. Mm. Do they wear motley? You mean clothes of varied fabrics and styles? I would definitely say so. And they like to wear ripped clothes and studded jewelry and things around their necks. And they wear makeup and lots and lots of leather and they have these long shaggy haircuts. It is indeed motley. How comical they must appear. I don't think that's exactly what they're going for. I think they want to look tough, not comical. Well, let's give Philadelphia a taste of their music. Pitikins, how they roar! I do love this motley crew. They are motley-minded fellows to make such a din. I like it very much. Oh, give heed to the files. Bring some 16th century source to your vocabulary with motley-minded. Listen to motley crew. Don't miss a word. Listen in next time and give me a like. <laughs> 